next week the president is uh, is going to have a rally in New Jersey at the Wildwood Convention Center. Listen to this. According to Congressman Jeff Van Drew, about 100,000 tickets have been requested for the president's rally. The venue holds about 7,400 people. <laughs> um, incredible. Trump's re-election campaign announced he was coming to Cape May County earlier this month. This is uh, this Van Drew is what the guy, one of the Democrats uh, who voted against the president's impeachment and changed parties to uh, from the from the Democrat to the Republican Party. A <laughs> hundred thousand ticket requests for a venue that seats seven thousand four hundred people. Uh, these are the kind of stories you hear that just that are, that just astound me because you wonder how in the world who's going to beat that? Elizabeth Warren, Amy Klobuchar. Those are the two women who have been endorsed by the New York Times editorial board to be the Democrat nominee for president. I, I don't really get their logic. But they have endorsed both women as the as the nominee. First time the New York Times has ever done it. Sounds like a stunt to me. Um, but I guess they're figuring. I mean, they're in in their opinion piece. They said American voters must choose between three sharply divergent visions of the future. The incumbent. President Trump is clear about where he's guiding the Republican Party, white nativism at home, and America first unilateralism abroad. That's the New York Times. Gosh, these guys are so so putrid. White nativism. Brazen corruption. That's, that's part of Trump's vision. A judiciary stacked with ideologues and the veneration of a mythological past where the hierarchy in American society was defined and unchallenged. These are actual words from the New York Times editorial endorsing Amy Klobuchar and Elizabeth Warren for president. They say, on the Democratic side, an essential debate is underway between two visions that may define the future of the party and perhaps the nation. Some in the party view President Trump as an aberration and believe that a return to a more sensible America is possible. Then there are those who believe that President Trump was the product of political and economic systems so rotten that they must be replaced. Choosing who should face off against Mr. Trump means acknowledging that Americans are being confronted with three models for how to govern this country, not two. Democrats must decide which of their two models would be the most compelling for the American people and best suited for repairing the republic. Because the New York Times believes the republic needs repair. Record unemployment doesn't do it for them in the black community. Historic unemployment for all Americans, more money in people's take-home pay. The USMCA passed, China trade, all kinds of, that That needs to be repaired. And of course they do believe that. They want higher taxes. They want open borders. They want to confiscate guns and take away our Second Amendment rights. We know what the New York Times thinks is the way to repair the country. So the New York Times says, with great fanfare, that's why we're endorsing the most effective advocates for each approach. They are Elizabeth Warren and Amy Klobuchar. Yikes.